Well, you're you right, right, how's it going? I'm Grant, you're you. This is Duda Review, and it's Sunday, for me at least. And it's the time of the week that we dedicate to jazz. The Sunday Jazz Club is often about, yeah, jazz. But it's also a spot in the week where I just feel it works nicely to talk about albums that maybe aren't technically in the genre, but share some of that same spirit, at least. And uh, today, we're kind of capping a bit of an unofficial trilogy. We're reviewing the album Music Life by Mia Doi Todd. A trilogy because it's the third and final album I discovered after doing a deep dive into the contributors on the Andre 3000 jazz flute record, New Blue Sun. Mia Doi Todd is a prolific American singer and songwriter known for her classically trained upper register voice and an aesthetic that brings together classical arts and contemporary styles of music. Todd's contributions to New Blue Sun were what alerted me to her work, but even with that introduction, I kind of had no idea what to expect, as the artist's breathy vocals on the tracks Gandhi, Dalai Lama and Ants to You, Gods to Who are weaved kind of into the musical tapestry of the compositions and aren't necessarily the focal point. What I discovered with this record, Todd's 11th overall release in 2021, is an inc- album with incredible depth. The title, Music Life, lays out the theme of this LP quite openly. Many songs do in fact explore situations and the emotional path of someone pursuing music as their life's work. However, after a number of listens, you begin to realise that this is just the surface level and there are in fact many layers beneath this. While certainly there are some very distinct accounts of a musician's lifestyle, The album is really all about journeys. One of those is a professional one, but others are physical and others more kind of spiritual leaning and eventually going more into like folklore and mysticism. These layers work so well because the concept of physically traveling the world, exploring spirituality and navigating the arts kind of all go hand in hand. They feed into each other and are themselves a likely account of the journey that one kind of would embark on if you make following creativity your purpose. The album has eight songs and in service to its theme of travel, each of these are interpreted instrumentally or compositionally from a different global or regional vantage point. Little Bird touches on aspects of Latin American musical culture with a bossa nova style led by beautifully crisp and simplistic finger-picked acoustic guitar and layers of tasteful strings, while Mohinda and the Marani take us east with a lean towards Indian style. If I Don't Have You touches on the Caribbean style of reggae and calypso and is one of my favourites. This track features a prominent use of melodica, which adds a perfect longing feel to the song. Combined with the rhythm of reggae, to me it conjures a vivid image of sitting outside a bar listening to raindrops pelt the corrugated metal awning um, as a tropical storm kind of rolls through. There's a chance you might find the globe trotting genre leaks leaps too hasty, almost like a travel documentary trying to pack too much into a single episode. But to me, while I can see that criticism, I ultimately think that each style is handled with so much respect that it shakes off any sense of kind of being inauthentic. Among the many things I love about this album are Todd's lyrics. A fantastic storyteller, Todd beautifully recounts stories from her travails inside the music industry, the excitement, the parties, the losses, the excesses, and even uglier moments such as coercion and power dynamics, even allusions to experiences of assault, all feel handled with care and expressed with enough poetry to avoid that feeling of reading a diary. This blend of great writing and fantastic musicality even wins me over on songs I'd usually struggle with. My Fisherman is a song from the perspective of a mermaid talking about her fisherman lover. And as someone with little fascination for rural or maritime living, I'm usually completely averse to these agrarian stories, but on this album, the song just floats along perfectly with Mia's voice and the underlying chord changes genuinely entrancing me, much like the mythical sea dwelling sirens the track alludes to. A huge factor, of course, in this is the vocals of Mia Doi Todd, and again, her style, uh, a very upper register, eloquently spoken voice with perfect enunciation. I'd honestly find this a little bit of a turn off usually, but I think, I don't know whether it's subconsciously that style creates like a preconceived notion of some sort of upper class superiority, but which is probably a prejudice I should keep in check. But even so, there is something really grounding about this artist's choice of word alongside this music that just pulls me in. I found this album utterly mesmerising on so many levels and would urge you if any of what I've said sounds remotely interesting to give the record a shot. For me this is a 9.5. And that's that. If you have heard this album give me a shout man I want to hear what you think. If you haven't give it a shot. 
come back and let me know what you think i'm dead keen to hear from people uh subscribe share some thoughts show some love or just hold some abuse in the comments and i'll see you either in the next video or next week for more sunday jazz club cheers mate bye, -bye.